tonight's a special night, guys. Tonight or this morning? I don't know. It's one o'clock in the morning. We're always drinking late. That's just how it goes around here. But it's we're dark early. out. It's dark out. And we're going to have some darkness. And why are we drinking this beer? This is a big ass beer. Because we want to go to bed with sweet dreams of good beer. That, and it's re review number 400. Woohoo! Ding, 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 yeah! That means we've video beer reviewed 400 beers that you've seen. We drank way more than that, of course, because we're some drunken. I mean, we're really interested in researching and tasting new beers. You are. I'm just drunken and stunt drinker. Well, yeah, that too. So tonight we have for you, and thank you first of all to my buddy Eric at Blackboard Beer Reviews for hooking me in. What was that, bud? Blackboard Beer Reviews. There you go. That's a big mouthful when you've been drinking. Um, Eric hooked me up with this bottle. Wouldn't have got it without you, buddy. Thanks a million. Really appreciate you. And Johnny will tell you he'll appreciate you too, but he might not mean it. Yes, I will. As long as I get to drink his beer. Oh, there you go. See how that works? <laughs> So for this beer, I believe I trade like a Skukaba or something awesome like that too. And this beer, I think is, from my point of view, the bottles they had so far, the zombie, which is really cool in here. They got like the zombie story, they thirst and they're coming to get you and it's the zombie apocalypse. Coming to take me away, haha. Exactly. So what's, what's the stats on this beer here, Johnny? Well, we got a 2011. 2011. That's, that's what we're talking about here. Yep, embossed uh, in the wax on the top. Yep, 9.8 APV. APV or ABV? ABV. American Funniest Home Videos. Yes. Uh, IBU of 85. Uh, it is a uh, Russian Imperial Stout. Uh -huh. Darkness Day, which is sometime soon. That's the only day they release it. One, <laughs> one day a year, you got to go. If you don't go to Darkness Day, you don't get it. Eight malts, three hops, adjunct Belgian candy sugar. There we go. Let's just open the thing, smell it, and drink it. Exactly. They're out of Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, too. So go. I've already cut the wax on this one, and let's see if the... Hell yes. This, this, These pry bottle openers, guys, are the best. It cuts right through the wax. And it sticks. And it sticks. It's through magnetic. Right through the wax. Oh, damn. All right. Nice. <laughs> Don't worry. We got you a snifter loading up here. Now this is a two-year-old beer, and look at the Holy head. Crap. Look at the head on that two-year-old beer. That's freaking awesome. It's kind of like pop, <laughs> pop rocks. Rice Krispies, right? Yeah, Rice Krispies, pop rocks. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we have darkness in our snifter, guys, and darkness no, like, is no bullshit. Through. Exactly. Solid one-finger head on a two-year-old beer. Super tight mocha bubbles on this when you well, swirl it. Than mocha. Exactly. When you when you swirl it, man, plenty of alcohol legs, sticky glass lace and clawing at the side of the glass. Something like caramel head. Exactly. Wow, <laughs> really coating. Let's get a nose on this. Mmm. Damn. Yeah, you taste this. Can you smell that candy sugar? Candy sugar, dark fruits. Mm-hmm. Chocolate. Chocolate, coffee. coffee, toffee. Damn. Yeah. It's almost like a little bit of everything like bourbon smell almost too because like the vanilla maybe that's in I there i smell the vanilla i don't get the bourbon on mine but I, I, i've been smelling a lot of bourbon tonight <laughs> exactly so i know this doesn't smell like what i've been smelling in it reminds it reminds me of a barrel aged beer in that vanilla note that's coming out of it that's awesome this is wow 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 well, really lovely smelling I'm beer. Drinking this Cheers drink. to 400 Cheers. reviews and Mo. Quattro Cientos. Exactly. Wow. That's a big beer. Complex. Mm. Big coffee. Mm hmm. And with this aging that's been on this two years big dark fruits super smooth like velvety carbonation we're drinking this cellar temperature we didn't let it get cold in the refrigerator and then bring it down it's cellar temperature right now i imagine what do you think about 55 degrees somewhere around there a little bit of humidity yeah but <laughs> you know right now we drank enough we don't really give a shit about the humidity um super smooth 
mouth coating when you drink it. Damn. always like it when we get to the end of the night because I know we're going to have a good beer. Exactly. We, we drank some pretty decent beers today. Except for the last one. Except for the last one, <laughs> yes. Except for the last one, yes. But this one, th this one is just top gun, guys. I mean, it, it's, it, it, it's silky, it's velvety, like you said. I get a lot of coffee, toffee, yep. caramel, vanilla. Not only with the smell, but with the flavor. The 85 IBUs, forget about it. It's not there. Um, <laughs> if it's there, it's like it's coffee hidden. or dark chocolate bitterness. Yeah, I mean, uh. it, I would say it's the coffee bitterness more than anything. Um, wow, it, it, it's good. It, it's, it's awesome. It's a pretty complex beer, considering it's not barrel-aged. I can imagine the barrel-aged version of this oh. is just fucking total rock star. This is just a really really well put together Russian Imperial Stout. The mouthfeel is there. The carbonation. It's got almost like when you drink a Belgian beer, that like refreshing carbonation. It's like really tiny bubbles in your mouth when you drink it. And you want to drink more of this beer. Yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> the stunt, when you have a stunt drinker, guys, you got to watch out because every once in a while, they'll grab your beer and they will drink it from top to bottom. I've never done that before. No. You don't have video proof of that either. Yeah. Yes, we do. He just doesn't remember said video proof. But, man, layers of complexity. I'm even tasting a little, little like, tobacco in this and, like, leathery taste. And maybe the slightest, like, soy sauce hint. I've read a lot of stuff where people are talking, oh, it's soy sauce tasting. Not really that much at all. little slight bit with this age on it, it but, but apparently Eric, who gave me this beer, cellared this properly. Because this, it hasn't degraded over time. It's cellared and matured is what it's done. Yeah. Wow. I, I see the soy sauce. I can taste a, a little bit hint in the back. You know what it's like? Not so much soy sauce. It's like Maggie. You know that stuff down in uh, in, in Mexico we, they have instead of the soy sauce? Mm -hmm. Maggie, if you haven't had it, M-A-G-I, Maggie, is like a sweet version of soy sauce that Nestle produces. And that's what is really that... I think you're tasting a lot of stouts. You're saying soy sauce because that's a reference you have here. But if you have Maggie, trust me, you'd say that. Anyways. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just so many layers of flavors in this beer. And for, like I said, for not being barrel aged or blended or anything like that, just rock star good. I, we haven't had a bad Surly beer yet. No, not at all. And I even drank the Hell Lager. You know, and, and that's a session lager, and that beer's awesome. No, These sir, guys don't make bad beer. I need to move to Brooklyn Center, Rockville, what? In Minneapolis. It's Brooklyn Center, Minnesota, but it's like right next to Minneapolis. Yeah, Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. But, man, this was 100% worth the trade. Thanks a million, Eric. This is, Thank that's, you, Eric. It's just awesome, man. Definitely. Cheers to Eric. Shout out, whatever. Yes. So... This is a cellar beer, but what are the other guys saying, like, grade-wise? Well, Rate Beer gives it a 100. Mm -hmm. And Beer Advocate gives it a 99. Yep. Wow. I mean, for just a Russian Imperial Stout, um, Rate Beer in it. I, a plus. 100. I, I mean, you know, they're beers that you just got to give 100 to, even though their parabola is better than this. This is a great beer. This is, you know, I could drink this. I could drink a parabola. I could drink, you know, a whole bunch of other ones. Any day of the week. Any day of the week. This is what you would rate as a 100 beer. Okay. Perfect beer. I mean, I, I there's nothing wrong with this for me. So. I, I think I'm I'm gonna go uh, 98 on it, A plus also, awesome. Um, I'm reserving I think 99s and 100 for barrel age just because I'm bent against that bourbon. I don't know what it is, but for a Russian a, Imperial Stout, this is one way or the other. I'm giving it A plus, and he's giving it A plus. Whatever the fucking number is, it's an A plus beer. Totally, it this is this is the best Russian Imperial Stout I've had so far. 
with no barrel aging, nothing like that on it. It's just a well put together beer that you can tell when the brewer made this, they did everything they possibly could to make it an awesome beer. Yes, they did. But, man, just awesome. So, we're going to leave you now because we're going to sit back and we've got about a half a bottle of this left and we're going to kick back and enjoy this shit. we still got like, what, 11 hours before you have to go to some graduation party. So. Yeah, we've got plenty more time to drink. Yeah. But, until the next time, guys, you got to do something for us. Send more of this. Send more of this, yes. That would be awesome if we got some more of this. But you got to think globally and you got to drink locally. And you got to support the craft beer movement. You got to keep this shit growing and help more beers like this surly fucking darkness come out because I I drink this shit every day. Yes. But that said, Johnny and our Johnny and I are basically stoutaholics. Yes, we are. You know what? They can rate IPAs all day long as like the best beer in the world. That's great, but it's just not gonna happen in my mind, really, because. The, the hedonic reaction and the memory that stouts leave with you, fucking IPAs don't. What the fuck is a hurt hedonic reaction? <laughs> That's okay, stunt drinker. Hedonic reaction is when you're when you have a lasting memory of pleasure of consuming something. And IPAs don't do that I for me. Exactly. I guess I was geeking out too much, huh? Fucking Anyways, you're I, fucking psychologist I, I, or something. IPAs don't leave the lasting memory that a fucking stout does. Well, I, you know, there are certain IPAs. Well, Dogfish Head 120. That last, yeah. that gave me some sort of memory issue. Um, uh huh. But that that's forgetting things. Maybe. Uh, no, I I'm a stout person. Everybody has their own. I there are some. IPAs they like, uh, you know, I don't know what other beers that... Stouts just have so much flavor packed into them, and you know what, the, the sweetness and the bitterness from the coffee flavors and everything that are packed into them, you just really remember them. I mean, there's some IPAs I remember, but I can tell you word for word about stouts, what I really liked about them, and really pick those out and have a vivid memory of it. It's a good thing you can, I can't. Yeah. I just remember they're good. Yes. I don't remember the freaking details. But I'll bet you remember the stouts more than the IPA, oh. don't you? Oh, yeah. The only IPA that I really remember is the Surly, and I don't even remember which one that is. Abrasive. It just tasted like mango. That abrasive, yeah. It's it's like, the, and that's a beer that Surly produced, so these guys make awesome shit. So, thanks a million for watching, guys. Through that was Matt, wasn't it? That was Matt. Minnesota yeah. Matt. Minnesota thanks, Matt. Matt. You're awesome, dude. Eric, too. Exactly. Eric, thanks a lot for this beer. Thanks for sitting through 400 reviews with us. You guys have done buku watching. Jabber. Exactly. I flap my jaws a lot, but <sighs> that's why I'm the beer geek. And he's the stunt trick. Thus, talk. we have balance. Yin yeah. and yang. <laughs> so until the next time, guys, thanks a million for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Cheers and peace out.